Hi, Pakabasmo. So I made this video to show you the solution for some questions in tutorial two. So someone, I think Ayman Najmi in from section three asked me this question. Uh, is it for question number eight? Is it supposed to be zero 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 point five for PA? Okay, let's look at question eight. So this is question eight, referring to the figure in question six. So you have to refer to this figure. Uh, the coordinate frame B is rotated 90 degrees about X A axis, rotated 90 degrees about Y B axis, and rotated 90 degrees about the Z B axis. Compute P A if P B is given as such. All right, let's see how we can do this. So first I would like to Perhaps copy this figure. So let's see what are the motions, right? So it says um, rotate 90 about XA, right? This one. And then rotate 90 about YB. And 90 about uh, ZB. 90 about ZB. So you have to realize that uh, first we have this, right? And then we rotate. 90 degrees about x a so we will have a different uh, orientation of the coordinate frame b and then with respect to the new orientation we have to rotate 90 about y b and then we have another new orientation of coordinate frame b and then with respect to the latest uh, b axis again we have to rotate 90 degrees okay so Graphically, if I can show it, you look something like this. So when we rotate 90 degrees about x a, so in the beginning we have this. So if we rotate the coordinate frame B with respect to x a 90 degrees, so we can see y b will appear up here, right? So x x b does not change. Okay, so this will be uh, x b, but y b now will appear up here. Right, because it uh, has to be rotated clockwise, right? And then ZB will be here. Okay. So this will be this one. Okay. So what happened next? Next. Um, we have to rotate 90 degrees about YB. So YB is, is here now, it's not this one. Do not refer to this one because we have just rotated the cube, right? Oh, sorry, the, uh, the coordinate frame. There's no cube here, but we have rotated the coordinate frame. So YB is here. So we have to rotate 90 degrees with respect to 
yb okay so what happens so i'm not going to draw uh, um, the coordinate frame a anymore so let, I, I think i made a mistake here let me just quickly erase this if i can So this is Z A. Okay. So if I rotate 90 degrees about Y B, uh, we can see X B will be here, right? So Y B will not change. So I have X B here, and Z B will be here. Right. So let's quickly check with our right hand rule. Now we can see that uh, if my thumb is here, if my second finger is here, or my index finger, uh, this is my middle finger. So it checks out. Right. So next. So this part will be for this one. Okay. Let me use another this one right so next we have to rotate 90 degrees about uh, ZB okay again it's positive angle so if I may draw it here um, if I rotate about ZB ZB will not change but my XB will be up here right then finally my yb will be here okay okay so one two three all right so um so you can check i mean you can check uh, by observation what should be pa right uh, if pb is given to be what is pb pb is given to be uh, i think 0 0.500 or something let's quickly check pb is 0 0.500 okay 0 0.500 0, 0, right so you can imagine um, there's a point here, right? So this is PB. Let's call this PB. So what is PA, right? So remember, we still have this um, the black co black coordinate frame, right? Coordinate frame A. So we have to somehow figure it out or figure out what is PA. So by just by looking at this, we're comparing this and this. So if you want, I can just redraw the uh, world coordinate frame, so called, right? So this is ZA. This is my XA. And this is my YA. So PA is the same point with reference to coordinate frame A, so it is 0, 0, 0 0.5. Okay, 0, 0, 0 0.5. So what was the question by Najmi? Ayman Najmi, supposed to be 0, 0, 0 0.5. Yes, correct. That's the answer, right? Maybe I mention it wrongly uh, when I give you the answer but this should be the answer as it, at least for now right this is just by observation let's prove this by using calculation oops I'm running out of space sorry I have to make it I have to make it uh, big okay let's compute So for the sake of calculation, 
and to avoid confusion, we have to somehow rename the coordinate frames, right? Let's call this, uh, let, me, let me call this coordinate frame B1, even though, um, let's call this B1, okay? Let's call this B1. This coordinate, let's call this coordinate frame B2. Even though technically, if I call this B2, then this should be X B2, Y B2, and Z B2, right? But uh, I hope you understand why we are doing this. And let's call this one as simply B. Okay, this coordinate frame is B. Okay. So now. Let's compute. So we want to compute T B of T B A, right? And from our drawing, we should be computing B one A T B two B one, and then finally T B. Of B2. Okay, and you know you are doing it right if uh, this and this is the same, right? It has to be the same in order for you to be able to uh, compose it or multiply in this case. Okay, so what is TB? Let's try to find out what is TB1A. So if we look at the operation that we did, what we did is we rotated 90 degrees about XA. Okay, rotated 90 degrees about XA. So this is the homogeneous transformation matrix that you have to use. And since there's no translation, this part is just 0, 0, 0. So this will be cos 90 is 0, this is minus 1. Then let's compute um, T B two T B two B one. What is T B two B one? It is the pose of pose of this B two, right? Pose of this with respect to B one. This one, okay? And we know we have rotated uh, ninety degrees about. YB. Okay. Cos 90 is 0 again, sin 90 is 1, this is minus 1, this 
So again, this is pure translation. And that is why this part is zero, zero. Sorry, this is pure rotation. There's no translation. And that's why this is zero, zero, zero. Right, next. Let's compute. T B B two, which is the final rotation. What did we do? Uh, Ninety degrees about Z B. So again, remember T B B two is the pose of this coordinate frame with respect to this. Okay. Ninety in Z. Okay, so if you multiply the three, since I'm running out of space, I will leave this as an exercise for you. So, what is T P of A? So once again, you have to multiply the three matrices that we have just developed, right? And then you multiply them together, you should be getting All right, and remember the task is to find PA. So you have to use this equation here. P A P tilde A equals to T B A multiply P tilde B. Okay. So this matrix multiply P tilde B, you should get P tilde A. So what is P tilde? We know what is P tilde, right? P tilde B is, what is P tilde B? P tilde B is um, 0 0.5, 0, 0, and 1. And you know, if we multiply this matrix by this, we will get 0, 0, 0 0.51. And P A is uh, 0, 0, 0, 0.5 as we have predicted right so I hope that's clear now let's move on I think in section 1 during our lecture earlier I think it was uh, it was Leong who asked the solution for this question question 11 right T30 okay Let's see how we can do that. I'm quite sure that I've shown this earlier, but never mind. Let's let me show it again. I think I've shown this. Um, let me check and then I will get back in another video maybe. So that's all for this video. Happy learning.